Hi there. Uh, today we read some part of this book, Grammatica della lingua automi, esposta in italiano. Uh, this book is about the uh, yeah grammar of the language called Otomi, uh, spoken in uh, some parts in uh, Mexico by about uh, uh, 300,000 people. Um, and uh, uh, the language belongs to the Otomangian language family. And yeah, this is a, an old grammar description, um, also including lexicon uh, with uh, Spanish translations uh, as well. Um, and uh, I find it, uh, it rather rare to see an uh, and uh, such an early date description of uh, non-literal, non-literate, um, uh, or indigenous languages uh, are written by uh, missionaries are written in Italian. Uh, I see um, um, the majority of uh, such uh, grammar descriptions by missionaries are uh, conducted in English or French or German. And uh, I think Italian is uh, uh, rather rare in this regard. Okay, so, uh, so I was somewhat uh, kind of excited to, uh, when I found this book, which is in the public domain now. Yeah, because it, it was published in 1841, nearly 200 years ago, and okay, in Roma. Uh, so, uh, please uh, let me make a precaution that uh, I am no expert of this particular language, Otomi, but I, I, I just read this book because I can read Italian and I like writing such stuff. Okay. Let's go to the main part directly, skipping the prolegomena uh, part. Okay, let's go. Ah, okay, dunque, ora possibile. Esco tutto il mondo montón. Uh, va bene, perfetto. Okay, let's begin preliminary uh, meaning. Uh, preliminaries in English. And uh, a point in caution is that uh, preliminary is a plural form of the noun preliminare, preliminare. Um, uh, that is to say preliminary is equal to preliminaries in, in English rather than merely preliminary. Yeah, plural, plural form. And this is in the plural form because this chapter of preliminaries uh, consists of some distinct parts. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, there are remarks about orthographic rules um, of the Otomi language. And, uh, and then there are some remarks about um, uh, different parts of speech and grammatical issues of the language. Okay, the first part is the orthographic rule, the, as written here, delle regole di ortografia, delle 
is originally composed of the two words, di and le. And uh, di is the preposition meaning of, and le is uh, the uh, plural feminine form of the definite article. And uh, uh, so, uh, the single dele is equivalent to of the or about the in English, despite the fact that it is a single word. And um, dele is in feminine plural form because the pet noun regole is innately a feminine noun and it takes a plural form here. Uh, so the singular form is regular rule and the plural is regular rules. Regular is rule. Yeah. And the latter part, the orthographia, presents the uh, example of uh, bear D. That is D, uh, not combined with uh, an article like in Dele. Um, so the orthographia is merely of orthography. Yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, if the orthographia is uh, uh, said in French, uh, it's doctograph, doctograph, um, uh, and in which uh, the uh, the French preposition de corresponding to d of Italian is uh, uh, phonologically uh, a part a part of the whole uh, prepositional phrase. Uh, in other words, um, the phenomenon called enchaînement is uh, at work between the preposition de and the governed term orthograph. But that's uh, not uh, attested in Italian, even in the very modern Italian. And D is a, a separate word, even when uh, it's followed by a vowel, like here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, resume the uh, this heading consisting of four words. Delle regole di orthografia about the rules of orthography of the Otomi language. Okay, now let's proceed to the main paragraphs. The first begins with N saying, Non posso negare ciò che tutti generalmente confessano ed è che la maggiore difficoltà di questo idioma consiste nella sua pronuncia. Ok, non posso negare. I cannot negate. I cannot deny. Posso is the uh, first person singular form of the auxiliary verb potere, which is uh, equivalent to may or can in English, and negare is negate. Yeah, etymologically common. And chio uh, ke is the following words, and chio is that, and ke is a relative pronoun. Uh, meaning that choke uh, corresponds to uh, that which or simply what in English. And so, so here is a choke clause. Uh, the, the content of which is Tutti generalmente confessano. Yeah, tutti is everyone. 
Generalmente, generally, or in general, confessa, no, is a, uh, the uh, third person uh, plural form of the verb confess, confessare, uh, meaning confess. Uh, so, so this part reads as, I cannot deny what everyone generally confesses. And the next word is add. This is identifiable with the coordinate conjunction a. Its form is add rather than a here because uh, it's followed by a vowel a. And this a is different from the coordinate conjunction a with the uh, accent grave or, or uh, accent grave on it. Um, but uh, it is a uh, uh, third person singular form of the copula verb essere. Okay, so uh, let's resume the content of uh, the parts uh, before the comma. I cannot negate that which everyone generally confesses and that is. Uh, so the contents of the uh, confessions by everybody is uh, specified by what follows che that la maggiore difficoltà uh, the major difficulty the major difficulty uh, la is in feminine singular form uh, as a definite article because the head noun difficoltà is innately a feminine noun and it's a singular form here and the uh, Adjective major in between uh, is uniform irrespective of the grammatical gender of the head noun. La maggiore difficoltà, the major difficulty, di questo idioma. Okay, again the preposition di, yeah, of questo idioma. Oh. Idioma is one of the uh, words uh, which may mean languages, language, and also is one of the words uh, which is which are masculine noun despite the ah uh ending. Uh, I come up with other examples. Uh, of such cases, uh, uh, program, program, problema, eh, babirusa. Yeah, all of uh, them uh, are masculine nouns, uh, even though they end with uh, the vowel R, typical of feminine nouns. Uh, perhaps uh, this is in uh, in in a large part because uh, they have origins in uh, some classical languages like uh, Greek. And uh, it is, uh, so it is because idioma is a uh, masculine noun that questo is in masculine form rather than its uh, feminine counterpart, festa. So uh, the uh, subject phrase uh, of the uh, of this ke, uh, clause is la maggiore difficoltà di questo idioma, the major difficulty of this language, and the uh, predicate verb follows, consiste, consiste nella sua pronuncia, consiste is consist. Consists, yeah, consist is a, a third person singular form of the verb cons 
consistere, consist. And nella, the nella is a, a, is a combination of the preposition in and the, uh, the definite article of feminine singular form, la. And, and yeah, in plus la equals nella. Uh, so in da, and the, the preposition in of uh, Italian is a little bit different from the English uh, in, in that uh, the Italian one uh, means uh, can means can mean both in or into. Uh, maybe in, in this case, uh, in, in that. Uh, so consist in the, consist in the, lie in the sua pronuncia, uh, its pronunciation. Yeah, sua uh, is a, a feminine form of the uh, a possessive personal pronoun, suo. Yeah, suo is uh, the, the masculine counterpart. And sua is uh, the feminine one. And uh, the feminine one is uh, uh, taken here because the following head noun pronuncia is a is a feminine noun. Yeah, ending with the ah. Uh, so uh, consist in la sua pronuncia can be read uh, consist in their pronunciation. Yeah, so the whole um, uh, the whole uh proposition uh, within the K clause is the major difficulty of this language lies in their pronunciation or something like that. And a point uh, of difference uh, between Italian and English one can notice here is that uh, uh, the sequence nella, uh, the sequence uh, preposition, uh, the sequence uh, definite article plus uh, possessive personal pronoun plus the head noun, uh, like in la sua pronuncia, uh, is possible because it's uh, Italian. It, it's not the case in English, as you know. Okay, the following part. Ah, uh, per lo che mi è pruto conveniente per il suo più facile intendimento dare notizia e spiegazione dei caratteri coi quali si scrive e per quanto è possibile dare ad intendere la loro pronunciazione. Ah, uh, a little long. Uh, per lo che... Yeah, per lo che means for that reason or therefore. Uh, maybe it, maybe it's a bit a uh, rare, rare conjunctional adverb. Uh, in that I I I couldn't find this in my dictionaries at hand. Um, but it seems uh, to mean for that reason. Me is a, a first person singular dative form, personal pronoun. So uh, it is to me or for me. And e paruto, uh, this is a, a past tense form of the verb parere. Uh, and it's in third person singular uh, uh, in that a is a uh, third person singular form of the copla essere and uh, uh, parere uh, the infinitive form of uh, the participle particip participle uh, participle uh, past participle paruto uh, means uh, 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 
seems or to seem or to appear, uh, perhaps, perhaps etymological related with apparent or apparently. And so it seemed a paruto, uh, um, maybe read as it seemed or it appeared. And the uh, complement follows. The adjective con conveniente, hmm, convenient. Yeah, conven convenient is a uniform despite uh, respective of the grammatical genders. Um, and con convenient. Uh, okay for that reason, uh, it seemed to me convenient. Pero el suo più facile intendimento. Um, for per for yeah so più facile intendimento uh, here again the the sequence not not never allowed in English is realized is realized yeah, the definite article masculine form so masculine form of the possessive uh, personal pronoun and. Yeah, the head noun here is intendimento. Intendimento has different meanings, and the, the meaning here is understanding or comprehension. And facile is facile or easy. And this is also a gender uniform. Facile, uh, although intendimento is a masculine noun. Uh, and the più is more um, comparative meaning. Uh, più facile more uh, easier, easier understanding. Uh, il suo. Uh, il suo is uh, his or uh, your. Uh, so can mean uh, his or uh, th thine, thy uh, respect. Uh, yeah, is honorific, honorific, honorific uh, a version of it. A uh, third person, uh, uh, honorific, honorific version of a second person uh, singular, maybe expressed in Italian as a third person singular form. And this is one of such manifestations. Il suo più facile intendimento, uh, your uh, easier understanding. Mm. Uh, for your easy understanding, uh, it seemed to me uh, convenient. And so, uh, and this, um, until here, um, there has not, there has not been yet uh, appeared um, the subject of this Clause, and the uh, and the subject uh, follows uh, after the inten after intendimento. Uh, uh, so the the part uh, beginning with dare, uh, the verb phrase, um, as a long. Uh, 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 rather long, long uh, is the uh, subject of uh, the predicative verb e paruto. Uh, so in English, um, it seemed, uh, it seemed, uh, when you say it seemed, the, um, uh, the, the, uh, the real subject or Substantial subject of the verb seem it um, has not yet been placed yet, uh, but it follows later. Um, with uh, in the form of two infinitive phrase, and the difference um, between English and Italian in that regard uh, um, is that uh, in Italian. Uh, the uh the infinitive uh, uh doesn't have 
any infinitive marker. Um, so, uh, per, per example, uh, for example, uh, uh, just the bare form of the verb dare comes here, is placed here without, um, for example, the infinitive markers a or d. And that's that's the rule of the Italian grammar. Uh, when when the uh, substantial subject is placed at the end of the uh, clause, uh, no uh, no implicit explicit no explicit infinitive marker is placed. Uh, Okay, okay. So now let's explore the uh, substantial subject um, of e paruto. Uh, begin, beginning with dare. Dare no tizia e spiegazione dei caratteri coi quali si scrive. Um, uh, yeah, the substantial subject is a composed of uh, two parts. Um, and uh, uh, this, the demarcation is made by the following uh, coordinate conjunction, e. Yeah, in this case, not e, not ed, not ed, but e, as uh, the following sound is consonant, p. Okay. Okay, then let us uh, give a uh, give an in interpretation to this part. Dare uh, notizia, dare to give notizia, uh, notification, no, o oh, eh, spiegazione, spiegazione, ah, notizia, information, or notification, eh, spiegazione, and yeah, this is a coordinate conjunction too, spiegazione, explanation. They, mm, of the, yeah, yeah we, uh, we saw the form of delle in the heading, and uh, this, uh, this uh, is in this form because, uh, uh, and the the head noun reg, regule is, was a, a feminine noun in plural as we saw and in this case uh, uh, the form day is in this way because uh, there is a form e as one of the uh, forms of masculine uh, plural definite article forms so the combination of D plus E uh, results in day uh, as here. Caratteri is the head noun here. Uh, they caratteri are uh, characters. Uh, so caratteri is, uh, yeah, as I suggested, uh, uh, plur plural form and the singular form is uh, and the meaning is a character, like in Chinese characters or something like that. And koi kuali, uh, another uh, e endings. Uh, so here also uh, a concordances occur uh, yeah, with regard to the hand noun character. And kuali is a uh, a relative pronoun, relative pronoun, mm. and the koi is the uh, ah uh, uh, first of all uh, in Italian uh, unlike in English relative pronouns uh, are uh, have a declension have a declension as a um, to uh, concord with. Uh, the the modified noun of the the noun the head noun modified by the relative clauses uh, in this case caratteri uh, so uh, quali is uh, the 
masculine uh, plural form of the relative pronoun huale and uh, concord um, in uh, number and gender with character. And the koi uh, is the combination of uh, the preposition kon with and the definite uh, masculine plural art article form uh, e kon e koi and and this means that uh, uh, a a koi also concords with kuali um, koi uh, in in a sense yeah. Um, yeah, don't que, I uh, don't, uh, so, um, so core equal is with which, with which, yeah, uh, with which, see scribe, hmm, uh, see scribe, ah, uh, it is written, yeah, see scribe is literally, uh, writes itself. The scrive is a uh, singular third person form of the verb sc scrivere to write. And uh, C is uh, the personal the third person uh, ref uh, ref uh, reflexive pronoun. Uh, so uh, in English, literally uh, one oneself, he, himself, herself. Mm. And uh, the subject. Uh, um, subject of the verb scriver here is uh, is apparently um, quest idioma on this language, uh, namely the Otomi language. Hmm. And see uh, scriver uh, write itself. Uh, that is is written hmm. with which with which it is written. Hmm. So this part um, as a whole is uh, to give uh, information and the explanation uh, of the characters with which it is written. Perfect. Okay, the last part, the part including the second subject. E per quanto è possibile dare ad intendere la loro pronunciazione. E, and, per quanto, now this means as long as, and it is a subordinate conjunction consisting of the two words, per and quanto. And, è possibile, uh, it is possible, so the, uh, per quanto è possibile is an adjective, is an adverbal, um, Close, meaning as long as it is possible. And the uh, main part uh, begins with dare, again, dare, to give. But uh, the, the meaning is uh, somewhat idiomatic here. Dare ad intendere uh, is uh, something like uh, uh, give hints of, give hints of la loro pronunciazione. Okay. Uh, la is uh, in feminine singular form because pronunciazione, the head noun is a uh, female noun and uh, it's in plural, uh, it's in singular form. Um, and uh, a loro between them is a possessive uh, personal pronoun of uh, third person plural. Uh, but uh, uh, this uh, this doesn't mean that uh, 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 something uh, possessed by loro must be plural. Uh, pronunciazione is a sing uh, singular, uh, singular indeed. Uh, this means that uh, loro is uh, uniform, uh, number uniform. 
uh, Loro doesn't change it own for it, it its own form according to the grammatical number of the head noun. It modifies. Hmm. So yeah, la loro pronunciazione or uh, the plural is le loro pronunciazioni. Okay. And now let us conclude today's paragraph uh, by uh, uh, reviewing the translation of the whole part. I cannot negate that which everyone generally confesses and that is that the major difficulty of this language consists in its pronunciation. Therefore, to me it seemed convenient for your easier understanding to give information and explanation of the characters with which it is written and as long as it is possible to give hints of their pronunciation. Très bien. Va bene. Okay. I had a difficulty finding such text like this, uh, which is uh, written in Italian and is uh, old enough to be in uh, public domain on the subject of uh, linguistics or anthropology, uh, which I am fond of. Uh, so, uh, 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 please, if you happen to have any information of such books or literature, uh, indicate indicate me, please. Uh, if uh, the text is written in Italian or uh, in modern Italian or pre modern Italian, uh, then I then I would uh, understand it. Uh, okay, so also, uh, yeah, please don't hesitate. Your likes and uh, subscriptions uh, if you find the video interesting. Yeah. Then I might, uh, I, I will consider um, uh, continuing um, the, with the, the following parts of, the, of this book. Okay, thank you.